Been looking for weeks. Hope I hit pay dirt this time. Lauren Winter. Ring any bells? Nope. Can't say it does. Oh, that Lauren Winter. Third floor, last door on the left at the end of the corridor. Clients by appointment. Wait. It's fifty bucks. I don't kiss and I don't do any weird shit. Fine by me. Put your money on the table. You got exactly ten minutes when the alarm rings. It's over. Okay. Gonna have to play my cards right if I'm gonna squeeze anything out of her. You should take your clothes off. We ain't got all day. Actually, I'm not a customer. Oh, shit, a cop. I should've known. What do you want, a freebie? Is that it? My name is Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. The families of the victims of the origami killer asked me to investigate the murders. I came here just to ask you some questions about Johnny. I already told the police all I know and I have nothing to add. Leave me alone. The killer is walking around free as we speak. He'll kill again if he's not arrested. Hey, Johnny's dead, so what difference does it make? There'll be other victims if we don't stop the killer. You have got to help me, Lauren. You may know something that can aid the investigation help you there's nothing you can do my son's dead do you hear me he's dead if we don't find the killer there'll be other mothers who find their son's body on a deserted wasteland but but, but you're right why should you care it's not your problem anymore right What do you want to know? Tell me about Johnny. What kind of kid was he? Johnny was really a good boy. Sometimes he fought with other kids who called me a, you know. In his own way, I think he understood what was going on. Tell me about Johnny's father. A loser without a job who liked to beat me after a few drinks. He left the day Johnny disappeared. I ain't seen him since. Coward. Good thing he left. You want one? No thanks, I quit. That's brave. Did Johnny live with you? Yes. Of course, I made sure he never met any of my clients. I wanted to stop, you know. But we needed the money. I was trying to earn enough to get us out of here. How did your son disappear? He used to go play with the neighborhood kids after school. It was pouring down something awful that day. I'll never forget it. All his friends came home around five. All except him. Time's up, Mr. Shelby. I hope you got what you wanted. Now get out of here.
I'll leave my card on the kitchen table. You never know. Well, if you remember anything, the smallest detail, give me a call. I don't want to see you anymore. Sorry, Dal. Goddamn asthma. Really wanted us. Ah. And it's not gonna get any better this friggin' weather. That guy just forced his way into Lauren's place. Sounds like the room's getting rearranged, and not in a good way. What do you want, asshole? Lauren! Is everything all right? She's just swell. Now beat it, loser! Again? If you're looking for trouble, you found it. I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. Oh! Ugh. Again, asshole. Are you all right? Better than him, I guess. Who is he? An ex-client who thinks he owns me. He was getting violent, and I told him I didn't want to see him anymore. Well, you should be careful. He'll probably be back. Sorry about the mess. Mr. Shelby? Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> 